there's some really disturbing things that I learned about Andrew Tate. I was actually really enraged. I was really enraged. He's making his money off this. So while he says one thing that he's building up men, he's actually helping to destroy men at the same time. Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. If you're new to this channel, I'm a spiritual rapper, a spiritual entrepreneur. I make content that is expanding consciousness. And here are my thoughts about Tate, Andrew Tate. So. I decided to finally look into this dude that the whole world is talking about. He was one of the most Googled people on the planet for quite some time and he got a lot of notoriety. And so, you know, I finally decided, all right, let me just listen to some podcasts. I found I listened to like 10 hours worth of his podcast. Um, the recent ones, uh, mostly with P uh, PBD. And, um, you know, I really liked what I heard. I really liked what I heard. So I made a video, you know, with my thoughts about him. And this this is basically what I thought. With these podcasts, the things that he was talking about was really solid, you know. It had me really inspired, had me motivated look, with the, the certain things that he was saying. Um, and I really liked the, 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 these main topics that he would talk about was how, you know, masculinity has to be, be protected uh, because, you know, if you control if, if, if you control the male population you know the the males are the ones who who basically lead the revolutions and so if you can control this then you know you have complete domination right so I, I, I like that and I thought that you know masculinity is definitely something that should be protected um, and uh, just I, I really liked you know his whole thing about breaking out of the matrix um, and how you know accumulating wealth being financially free is you know it's an incredible thing it's a liberating thing you know protecting your loved ones i, I liked how he said those things um how protecting your loved ones should be a priority and how putting your loved ones above yourself you know is is like your duty especially as a man i really like those stuff and i can see how he's relating to men to guys but there is some really disturbing things that I learned about Andrew Tate when I did some further research. I don't want to go into all the details, but some of the things that I discovered about him, you know, were, were the things about his business and how he actually came up and the things, the, the type of business that he was has been running um, even recently. The whole thing about the webcam business, okay? Like, so that webcam business, the, the OnlyFans business that, that he's been running, that, that's like basically how he, he's been making his fortune, right? And so he, in, the, in, the, in the podcast, he talks a lot about, you know, um, all this stuff. I loved, I was, I was really inspired by what I heard about in the podcast. I was like, this guy sounds really, really great. Um, and I can really relate to a lot of the things that he's saying. But at the end of the day, the webcam stuff, the stuff with the, the women and how he's, how he basically came up off of the, off of the, the backs of men and taking advantage of men and exploiting men, exploiting women, just, just, just being honestly afraid, uh, being a manipulator. That, that's what I have discovered that he is. Um, and it's unfortunate, you know, a lot of men are looking up to him and I can completely understand why they're looking up to him because of those things that he, he talks about, very relatable things. So he uses relatable things to kind of bait people into uh, becoming a, a believer, a follower of him. But at the end of the day, this, this dude is really not, not ethical. And he, I, I, I really question his morality. I really do. The, there's recent videos straight up from the Full Send podcast where he talks about how he, he didn't even feel bad about the, these things that he did, like taking advantage of men, like these, these guys who gave their life savings, they put out, they took out these loans, money that they couldn't afford to talk to these women, man. Like that, that is just, that to me, like researching that, I, I was actually really enraged. I was really enraged. I, I, I was furious, man. Like, he's, because he claims that he's out here to help men. 
almost like a savior. Like he, he he's like portraying himself as this as the savior. He's gonna help you escape the matrix and become a better man. But what is he really doing is he's taking advantage of all of these people. He's taking advantage of these people in not ethical ways, not moral ways. Honestly, it's not. And um, this whole his whole PhD. His whole PhD program. Oh my God! I I, I just and and how he basically he, he used he's teaching very manipulative tactics in his in his course or whatever. I I don't, I don't know which course whatever, but he was explaining how he uses like this this technique. He trains guys to to basically to fully take take advantage of women. Basically pretend like you know they like them and you know get close with them. And then he trains these guys to eventually hire these women to do his, to do his, uh, to take advantage of them so that they join the business of, I, I, I don't even like saying these, like the, the, these, the words that this business is. Like I, I can't even, I can't even say it. Like it's just, it's just so disgusting to me. It's just so disgusting to me. It, it truly is. I'm truly disgusted. That I I even like was inspired by this guy, like it it it, it, dis, it disgusted me. That I I thought this guy was a good guy, and I thought that this guy was really looking out for people. Disgust me completely to see you know how how even just recently he was really just bragging about all of this, bragging about taking advantage of all these people, and that is what people need to know about. That is what people need to know. About. But yeah, ultimately just truly disgusted by the fact that he's portraying himself as this virtuous dude who's looking out for everyone, but really he's just straight up manipulative and he's he's lying. He's lying. I, I hope guys really do their research. I hope people really do the research into this into into him and realize how unvirtuous he really is. He's under investigation. So he's saying stuff that really sounds great. It'll have you really convinced. It'll really have you convinced. But then you look at what the heck, what the heck he's really about, what he's been about, and that is just gross. This guy is not the savior. Andrew Tate is not the savior. Please, please wake up. See, I, I'm about that perspective of, you know, the matrix is controlling. The system is set up in a way that it is against you, that, that you are designed basically to lose, right? I I agree, but the way that you come up, I think, is so important. Your 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 ethics and your morals—that is what matters the most. I agree that you know there is this matrix. It's something that I want to break out of, so that I'm financially free and able to take care of all the ones that I love. I I'm gonna be doing it the way that is morally there's moral and ethic, you know. Personally, I, I feel so good that the way that I'm making breaking out of the matrix is by is by making content that is saving lives. Like the the people that I'm working with, we're making content that is saving lives. So I I, I just I'm so glad, you know that that I'll always have my morals and my ethics. But this dude, who is claiming to be this virtuous guy, he's really not who he says he is. He's not who he says he is, and you bet you have to watch out. But yeah, I, I do think some of these things, you know, that he talks about are, you know, they sound they sound great. Like he he has the, the, the whole like 41 commandments. The things sound great. And I do think, you know, masculinity is under attack. The the pesticide, the toxins, the, the chemicals all around us, the, the fluoride water, but even fapping to that stuff you see on your screen, that is something that is destroying masculinity as well destroying men as well and he is someone who is a supporter of this he's someone who is making his money off this so while he says one thing that he's building up men he's actually helping to destroy men at the same time and now that is where you know you lost me there you lost me there like you you had me for a moment but you know you lost me now you lost me you really did so yeah these are some of my thoughts about him. Um, I'm clearly not a supporter of Tate. And um, while, yeah, I do think that there is a, a matrix that is designed around us that, you know, that is designed around us and that is 
something that I want to break out of and help others even break out of as well. Ultimately, I, I, I don't think that Tate is the kind of guy that you should be looking for guidance from. Take everything with a grain of salt, like seriously, take everything with a grain of salt. You can learn things from everyone, ultimately, you can learn things from everyone, so you can learn things, but um, yeah, I, I would watch out. You Watch out who you, who, who you consume. Please, please, please watch out and question everything. Question everything. Peace out, please. Keep in mind at ease, it's obvious.